person actually is an enemy of a room. Let's punch down the couch and sell merch, motherfucking Dutch gang! Dylan, were you here when this guy got Ryan Seacrest in oh, earlier? Dude, he tried to fist bump Adriel. <laughs> Everybody got fucking pissed, dude. If that was on video, make that your profile picture. That'd be fucking awesome. The guy, let's see, you talk about 21. I've never heard somebody like describe being drunk before. And I'm like, right now, I'm like, he's so right, dude. He's spot on. Pretty prospect right now. Did you say that was your first time drinking when you turned 21? Did he fucking leave? <laughs> <laughs> Was past ten. Uh, Holy shit! I'm fucking pissed out. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna heckle the fuck out of that kid. <laughs> Just like uh, Glenn, or whatever the fuck his last name is. <laughs> that fat pussy. <laughs> Wasn't even us with him, man. He deserved it. That was the best part of the set. How are you guys doing? Good? Alright, that's my baseball, sorry. The fat guy. Uh, dude, I Uber needed a chicken sandwich here for $20. Because I got so high from my friend's dad pen that I started sweating. Dude, because I fucking hit the dad pen until it flashed, you know? That means stop. I did that twice in one breath. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I've just been zoned in. My vision is like a tunnel right now. It's cool. You guys ever in school? You guys, who else cheated their way through school? Yeah. Now, of you guys, did you go to college? <laughs> yes. Okay. We, same. Somehow, I did with like a two point one GPA. I got it. It was hilarious. Uh, but like, when you guys got there, were you guys also like, oh fuck? <laughs> I've never seen this before. The math? They added letter. <laughs> I failed it three times in college. Do you know how much money I paid to, to fail math? How much money I paid to hate myself, dude? <laughs> There's a teacher who took attendance of a class with 250 people. Is that insane? No, that's fucking normal to you guys. Name by 250 people. I'm just complaining tonight. What else could I be pissed about in the last 15 seconds? No, I'm kidding, guys. You guys are crazy. How did Dr. Laughter do? I was, it wasn't here. For that. It was great. Okay, that's a lie. You fucking liar, dude. No, I'm kidding. My yeah, what's going on, guys? Another episode of The Comedian. This was at the Comedy Vault. Not sure when this was, but I was wearing a jacket, uh, and I think I drove there, so it was cold because I wore a jacket. That's how weather works. Um, it was a while ago because I drove. Uh, I've been riding my bike every single place, but um, like, these are so old that I don't even remember them happening. Obviously, I don't even remember what happens right after I get off stage, but seeing this, I actually kind of like how they're backlogged. This is, I have no idea what day this could possibly be, um, but uh, I like that I could see things like I kind of forgot about, jokes I forgot about, like um, the cheating through school. I might bring that up tonight. Uh, I'm going to LOL, Laugh Out Loud in Schaumburg, um, even though it kind of sucks ass. Uh, I'm going to probably work on that bit. Uh, cause like cheating your way whole entire way through school and then getting to college and you're like, I really fucked myself, huh? Cause <laughs> I just remembered of how like I was in a, uh, history class and we had a huge group project in like a 300 seat room and I fell asleep during every single part of the group assignment and they didn't put my name on the assignment. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, so in this little inside baseball, when I call Glenn a fat pussy, uh, it's because this was a Wednesday directly after he left Jerks to Joe's. So this was a while ago. He left Jerks to Joe's and said it was, uh, 
a heckle mic. He got mad during the mic that I run with me, Dylan Mahler, Dan McCarty, and Danny Hamill. I just posted the one year Jerks Anniversary podcast, but uh, yeah, like we have a we have a hot mic going the whole time, uh, so we like we can interject and stuff when people are on stage. And he uh, apparently didn't remember that. You know, he got a little got a little heated about it, and then posted in a comedy Facebook group about how we're a heckle mic, which we uh, are not. But you know, some people need to work on their crowd work a little bit, so we help out. <laughs> you know, now we'll heckle you if you suck, though. Like, if you are just, uh, you know, spewing nonsense, we might chime in here or there. I might hit you with a little but um you know? Uh, and I also, a little more inside baseball, I asked about Dr. Laughter at the end because he sucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm naming these people you guys are never going to know um, unless, you know, Dr. Laughter fucking shoots up the comedy vault. That's the only place he goes. But comedy, the Dr. of Laughter, um, it's a guy who uh, is, is like, like many people who do stand-up, not good at it. And uh, like at open mics, it's brutal. But he like has this super loud laugh where he smacks the table and all of this shit. And it's like very selective. You could tell it's like fake because to some people he's silent even when they're funny. Uh, I think he actually got asked to leave because of his laughing noise. And his annoying-ass wife laughs like a dolphin at his jokes. Usually I get there late enough to not see it. But I kind of want to see it. You know, I miss seeing something that bad. Uh, but, like, if you were to ever go to, like, your... And I'm sure any open mic scene is like that, where there's just a couple people who stick out where it's like, why do you even do this, you know? And that might be you. You might be that person if you can't think of the person. <laughs> but, no, nah, he should uh, quit. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere. I appreciate you so fucking much. Um, if you want to support this comedic journey further, I actually have a Patreon with a Patreon podcast on patreon.com slash winebox poppy that's the best way to directly support because youtube fucking hates swears dude all these videos get demonetized doesn't make sense they're marked not for children and there's a youtube kids app i've also seen swears in commercials what's going on here you know but it's all right that's why we have a patreon so if you want to support this comedic journey further patreon.com slash winebox poppy but if you can't or don't want to i totally understand like comment share subscribe let's keep that algorithm going baby i fucking love you guys Mwah.